the appeal of Rust for me, and probably for you, even if you don't play this game, is that at any given moment, there can be so much loot on the line. The culmination of a grand plan, the resolution of a rivalry, the sum of countless hours of farming and grind can be on any person's body at any time. And so we seek out those moments where we get to steal that value from other people, whether it's successfully raiding a base or killing someone that's transferring loads of riches. We've all accomplished something of the sort before and so we yearn for it. The satisfaction is totally unmatched in any other game, but what goes up must come down. There's a totally opposite side to this story, and that's that if you're the person with the riches on you, with all that vast amount of loot, and you lose it, frustration, anguish, despair, rage, however you react to loss, it hits, and it hits hard. Today's adventure is pretty peculiar. We're going to be taking a deep look at both sides of this spectrum. Unbelievable gain and crushing loss. And while we're doing so, this story will take us on wild twists and turns. Crazy action, bizarre occurrences, tactical outplays, you name it. So, my name's Stevie. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the movie. The day was Friday, August 26th, one day after this given server, Stevius US Main, had wiped. I was playing duo with my good pal Ronnie, and our plan for this adventure was a bit peculiar. Because, like I mentioned, the server had wiped the previous day, but for this Friday, and the next day, Saturday, both Ronnie and I had a bunch of obligations. We were only going to be able to play for a few hours. And so our goal was to entirely construct a decent sized base, build up a solid amount of resources, a respectable amount of guns and gear, and then on Sunday we would both be on early in the morning all the way until very late at night. We wanted to see how much action, how much pure chaos we could get into on that Sunday, and without spoiling anything, it was pretty unbelievable. And so, our story started where and how everyone in Rust begins, as a naked on the beach. Okay. Ooh. It's actually a really cool map. Where do you spawn? J2. Okay, nice. I'm F5 right now. I'm hitting a tree. I'm going to hit like these barrels down to that fishing village. And I may just boat down to F16. Done F8? Yeah, I'm on the, the desert one right now. You want me to buy a boat and pick you up? Yeah, you could buy a boat go there, then I wouldn't have to buy one. And I have a bunch to recycle, so and I'm not there yet, so yeah, that'd probably work perfect. Keep pipes as well. How'd you do on Mondays? Oh my god, dude. We killed it. It was just me and Frost duo and probably more PvP in that wipe than I've ever gotten into ever. It is not a lie. The duo with Frost is going to turn into a two-part series on my second channel. And it's going to start within the next 10 days or so. So if you haven't subscribed to that already, the link to do that is in the description below. Anyways, at the large barn and the fishing villages on my server, there are drone delivery stations. So with all of the scrap that I just recycled for, I was able to buy some resources that we would need for a base. Buy, like... 5k wood and then a jackhammer there's a boat pulling up two guys stop pulling <coughs> the boats boys that's where we're going wait do you have any stone 
letting us down. <laughs> what is he doing on your boat? <laughs> Wait, bro, hold on. I can make an Ioka. Hold up, bro. Wait, 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 wait. Let me hop on. Let me hop on. You ready? Start driving offshore. Wait, three seconds. Two. Now one. I, now I got two of you. First. Now go. Come on. Get off my boat, dude. Oh, Shit. Turn around. What is he doing? Don't go too close. I'll, 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 I'll die to fishing. Hold on, join my team. What's he got? Oh shit, bro! Hold on, let me wait out my 40 second timer and let's go back in and recycle and shit. His Tommy would have. Wait, he did, you have his Tommy. He didn't even fall out. Bro. They are pissed! I think they came to recycle for cloth because that guy had no meds. We just took all the cloth comps. Yeah, yeah, I think you're right. So after we recycled, we headed out. This was a bizarre start. I think this guy thought that me and Ronnie weren't together, and he only saw a spear on my back because I was crafting the yoka, so he must have thought that if I tried to pull the spear out, he could just kill me. Or he thought that we were still in the safe zone, he thought the range was further. We don't know exactly what he was thinking, but... I got a free Yoka shot on his head, and there was a Tommy kit, and a ton of cloth recyclables, so now we had a lot of cloth. We sped off, and as nightfall was about to take over the land, we decided to park our boat on the beach and build a base right beside this lighthouse. Our logic for the build spot was, well, we had lighthouse to recycle at, excavator was right beside us, there were a ton of bases for PvP, and there was a road beside where we were building that was covered in junk piles. That meant a ton of components whenever we needed. Oh, dude, I do need some stone, actually. You got the jackhammer? Yeah, here, take it. Oh, that guy was so bricked, staying on the boat as we were driving out of the safe zone. Perfect. <laughs> yeah, I got all of them. I got, like, a million. Oh, I need to go outside. I'm gonna risk it real quick. <sighs> Sheesh! That's what I'm talking about. All right, we'll, get, we'll do that, like, back right box, be, like, charcoal or some shit. That's a, that's a far stretch. Okay, now I'm gonna upgrade this. I did not mean to do it armored. But it's gonna have to stay that way. <laughs> With only about two hours till both Ronnie and I had to leave for the day, we went into grind mode. With the player pop completely full, the barrels were respawning at ridiculous rates. And so, we were hitting all of them. The plan was simple, hit a bunch of components, recycle for a bunch of scrap, then go to fishing village and buy all the resources we needed from the drone delivery system to fully build the base.
Hold on, there's a guy zipping to you. <laughs> nice. Oh, this is the same guy we've killed like five times. <laughs> he has nothing. I was in the trees. Right here, right here, right here. Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead already. Might have hurt. Killed him. Come in. We got eyes on you. Can't see past you. Can't see you now. Got it. Dip, 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 dip. Hot to we can't let them know we live here, but we also can't fucking hide. You have any? 1500 sulfur, but he had farmed it with Jackie. It wasn't from the thing. Okay, well. Hold up, I hear another. Now, first things first, in the middle of the night, we noticed there was a base right beside ours that had decayed. And so we authorized on the TC, sealed it off, and we had a nice little flank base. And then we gathered every single component that we wanted to recycle and all of our scrap. We were going to boat over to Fishing Village to recycle there and use all of the scrap to buy resources that we needed to fully finish our base and a potential compound. Finish our day's goal. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm dead. You are? Yep, I'm down. Get the AK kit. Just, just full kill. Double dead. Watch out for the custom guy. Oh, this guy was farming. Just yoink his comp comps. We'll take this all. You can put the AK set back. If you're curious, the only reason the wood and the metal frags stack over a thousand is because I bought a ton of them from the drone delivery system, so temporarily in my inventory, they do. Anyways, when we got back home, we pretty much both had to go. I placed a few garage doors, and then we logged off for the night. Our day's goal was achieved. We got into a really nice area, picked up a few kits here and there, including an AK set, and we had fully built a base. Nothing grand, but a respectable little abode. Now I'm going to take you on a quick tour of the base. Because I breezed through a ton of the building, I kind of just want to show you its quirks and features. And if you want to skip the base build, the time on screen to do so is up right now. The idea of the base is really simple. It's cheap, but it has a lot of features. It has a second story entrance that drops down to the first floor core. It has outer peaks, a shooting floor. It has a tip top tower, a roof, two layers of walls to get to any point in the core. It has bedrooms on the third floor, same floor as the shooting floor. It's a neat little base, but it's not all too strong. Of course, that pretty big downside comes with an upside. It's really easy to make. Over the two to three hours we'd been on the server so far, we had it nearly done. We just had to high qual the second floor, build the tip top tower with a wind turbine and electricity system, and it was in its final form. There are quite a few semi-unique aspects of this design. For one, there's this furnace and then siren light jump up that gives you a nice little head peek of anyone that's on your roof on both sides. There's also a ladder hatch that leads to the shooting floor from outside the front door. It's a really convenient way to get up there if you're on the outside. And there's room for a turret right here and a shotgun trap so that even if you leave the ladder hatch open, no one's going to be able to get up. 
two more turrets in the shooting floor give you 360 degree coverage up there. There's a turret for the tip top tower to cover the windmill and your electricity system. There are two on the roof and there are two left, which you can probably just put in your compound if you have one. All the electrical switches are in the bedroom on the third floor that's right beside a seven box loot room, all being covered by a few shotgun traps. And additionally, there's room for two more beds in the tip top tower and boxes to store kits. Aside from the idea of the base being cheap, it's meant to be a decently defendable base. If you have external TCs, you're fine with letting someone raid into the first and second floor and get your core loot room, because you have a ton of storage space on the third floor in your bedrooms, and you have a retake area with your beds and boxes in the tip-top tower. Now, I feel like I've shown enough. This isn't meant to be a whole base build video, but hopefully at this point you guys at least understand the base a little bit more and can maybe mentally find your way around it. So let's get back to the story. It was now Saturday, midday, and I was really just getting on to see if we had gotten raided, and we hadn't. I only had a couple hours to play, and Ronnie wasn't going to be on at all. So my goal was to build the tip-top tower, place the wind turbine, start placing turrets in the base, and do a little bit of exploring around the area. And I started with the exploring. This guy see me? It's kind of far, I need him to stand still. I have a bizarre hunch that that bolt or L9 guy is on his roof, so I'm not gonna go over there. Oh, there's a full metal guy. That was <laughs> actually perfect timing. Oh, we just had a Tommy, actually. And a wee bit of sulfur. Nice. Okay. Nice, nice. Um, I'm gonna get stone and scrap now. And go to Fishing Village and buy a bunch of auto turrets and wood, I think. Okay, 1,400 scrap, maybe two rows of stone? I saw a boat close earlier. If not, there's that further one. Oh, oh my god. If this guy had... If this guy had killed me... Oh. If I had died with this on me... Wow, well, I don't even know. This guy's juiced. Here we go. <laughs> this is what we grind for. The wood stacks, nice. What an absurdly productive hour. Very, very, very nice.
So over the past hour, a few kits had been acquired. I'd gone to Fishing Village and gotten all of the turrets. And then, according to the plan, I built the tip-top tower. I put a wind turbine up there. I placed a battery. I placed a bunch of turrets. I even placed an entire stone compound with a custom external gate. It wasn't that big of a compound. It was actually really, really small, but it was nice. So everything was done for the day. I had to go. I closed up all the doors, and then I logged off. Now, here, over 20 minutes into the video, is kind of where it really begins. Everything prior to this moment was just context on how we got kits, our base location, our resources, stuff like that. And honestly, over the past year, my recordings have gone way too smooth for some sort of mistake to not eventually happen. Unfortunately, the first play of the day, what kind of started it all, wasn't captured. I wasn't recording and my shadow play wasn't enabled, so I couldn't flashback record it, but... I'll show you an animated reenactment. When Ronnie and I woke up and got on that Sunday morning at around 10 to 11 Eastern, we heard that Excavator, which was right beside us, was running. So we grabbed some kits and we ran over to see what we could do. Upon arriving, we were both immediately killed. There was a full metal guy sitting all the way at the top of the Excavator, and so we respawned and ran back. I crouched all the way up, behind the guy at the top, and then I killed him. And that was that. Ronnie had stayed at the bottom distracting the entire time. There were only two of these guys. So after I killed a guy at the top, we pinched the guy at the bottom. We killed him. And then we ran to the little resource mineral or delivery dump location thingies. And we got everything that was inside of that, which was all sulfur. That's what they had been mining. And we ran it back to our base. A bunch of sulfur and two full metal AK sets, which was a big deal at the time because I don't think we had any or maybe just one. After we depoted, we planned to run back. We would left some gear on their bodies, and we also figured that they were probably going to run back, and so we wanted to fight. And this is when I realized I wasn't recording, and so I started my recording. Damn, that's annoying. I didn't record that. All right, let's go. So where the fuck is our workbench? Oh, here it is. I'm going to put it in the compound real quick. This kid is just terrible. Nice. Alright, let's go. Alright, these guys are going to be in sneak spots because they know we're going to come back. So just be aware. No, they didn't come back. It's the scientists. Unless right. they just didn't kill Here, those come ones. to the left on this, on this ridge. Oh, no, they're there. I see him on the mound. Hey, one. I'm pushing left. They're both hazzy. One has an AK. Hey, one, Ensign. Hit him. Down. Nice. Finished. The other Very one's safe. somewhere. I see the other one. He's silenced. He's silenced. Bolty. Hit him. He headshot me. I missed. Mound, 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 mound. In front of me. So hurt. Dead. Nice. You can headshot me with that shit. God damn. I'm dead. He's dead. You're up. Just med. I'm looting this. There's a row of sulfur. All right, let's get out of here fast. Shit, that's <laughs> that's so funny. Guy by our base, down 250. I got no meds, bro. They're four. They're four. Back up. Back up. Back up. Back up. Come to me. Come to me. Maybe they're coming to try to raid. No. They're five. They're five. Now we gotta go up this way. We gotta go up this way. Maybe they'll keep running. They saw us going right. I don't think we could keep going right. If we can get to this telephone pole and up it, we look at our base, no one's there. We can take the zip right outside our base, you know? I won't see them to the left. We can drop right at this wall, bro. Go, 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 what the fuck? 
Good shit. <laughs> That's another two rows of sulfur I have. So yeah, there was a group that was at least five deep right outside of our base as we were trying to run back to it with all of that sulfur. But we'd done a little bit of a juke, we'd run to the right, we'd shot a few shots, then we'd doubled all the way back to the left, taken the zip line to our gate, and they were no longer there. At this point, over the last 10 minutes, I'd say 15 at the max, we'd profited nearly a box of sulfur from Excavator, from the guys that we were killing that were there. So right then and there, we gave ourselves a goal. We wanted to raid a base by the end of the day. We wanted it to be a pretty big base, too. We didn't know who it was going to be, when it was going to be, but it was still early on in the day. We had plenty of time to figure that out. We had so much sulfur at this point, it kind of seemed like a waste not to. But for now, that had to go on the back burner. Within the next couple of minutes, as we were just sitting in our base, we heard guys right outside of our compound. It sounded like it was that five men, and they were probably looking for a fight. Is he one full kid? Okay. 250 just, from me. I just left the gate now. Four, like running to their island? Hit him. He's by like a fuel tanker. He sees me. Yeah, he's really close. His friends are coming from far. Headshot him. Can you push? Can you W key his left side? I got his right. Before his teammates come. I don't have any balls. It's fine. If you swing left, his teammates are here. He may he may be dead. You good? I have one wound. Full killed one. Is this guy at the thing here dead? Do you, can you see around him? I'm uh, I'm down. What the? F where was that guy? There's so fucking many. I'm gonna get pushed. Just get another kid on. Get a crossfire on if he goes across. Killed one on the way here. From the water, just has he. Just watch that. Just watch them on the cross. Can you silhouette the the ocean? I see one. I see one. I'm pushing up 220 south. My 220. So you're like one south. Dead. Has he? Three times on one, maybe down. BMW, naked. Dead. Killed full AK. You can come loot it. Killed one. Two more pushing AK. I need you, I need you. I'm not crafting, man. I'm coming. I'm down, I'm down. Ah! Downed one that it looted. Down, full metal. Good. Nice. They live there. Hit them three times. Yeah, yeah, you can push. You can push. One behind that base. Doubled. Dead. Shit. Has he back there? They live in this base close, and there's full metal at the junk pile here. One jump down. No. No way. All my fucking outside bags. I'm dead. I guess they raided both those bases right there. I guess.
Can you just go out, like, naked? Like, I'm gonna kill one in a second here. I just need you with, like, barricades to just, like, barricade bodies and you can, you can loot easy. Like, these guys are gonna keep coming out and I'm just gonna keep killing them. It's just we're getting none of the loot back is the issue. I'm dead. He's not dead. Are you down? No. Kill the guy close. There, a couple of them are out. I shot that guy. I'm gonna do it. Killed the pink guy in the water. I'm medding. I see one 250, 250. Okay. Kill another one. One more behind this junk pile. I'm on HP. Just just play your life if you can. Double. Double. <clears throat> He's still behind that far junk pile. His friends are all dead. Hold on. I need a cover. One's inside. Four times. Shoot this pig, bro. You can get your body for free. He's holding from his doorway. Go on. Hit him. Down in his doorway. One. Naked, dead. You Go may on. be able to push to that. Headshot, dead. I don't think they have bags in there, bro. Guy behind. Yeah. AK behind. I'm good, I'm good. I'm behind cover. Yeah, he's flanked the other guy. Yeah, I don't think- I think you can maybe loot. Just watch for this guy that's shooting at me here. Yeah, he's behind a stone node here. You sh- Care for them spawning inside. But you should be good. I'm I'm just distracting. There should be an AK kit right there in the water. Watch doorway. Yeah, I got it. Getting out of here. Okay, nice. You got like three kits? Yeah. Okay. One Tommy. You can keep pushing. You can push back to our base via the wall. We can also kill this guy. He's in the middle of the open. If you can just, like, get all the way back behind our base, high ground on him. Yeah, yeah. Is that at you? Yeah. Are you bolty? Hit him, hit him. Okay. Yeah, I'm bolty. I'm pushing I'm left. Back. Gotta get inside. I'm going to the roof of our flank. Three times. I'm going to roof of walled. flank. Yeah, he walled, he walled. You can you can come. You can come and we get we have crossfire, he's dead. Yeah, I got three. Yeah, I'm already getting bolted. This is bad. Got two full metal sets, one MP5, two MP5s, one Tommy. They're cutting me off from their main. Can you stay there for a sec? They're gonna push really close. Yeah, I got like no meds. That's fine, just bandage up. There's cloth in there, right? Three running up the shoreline. Towards our base? Uh, no, no. One, only one is by that one junk pile. Okay, but... There's, they went back into that one base. Like that. Okay. So I can leave out our custom gate? You should be able to. Yes. Yeah, I'm out. One's coming up towards our base. From where? He's at the high wall you were playing at. Okay, okay, okay. Might peek his ass. Yeah, they're two, they're two. They see me here. Headshot dead. 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 There's another one behind it. I can't peek him, I'm hazzy. I literally can't peek this guy. I may get one shot. Yeah, on the two bus? Can you just get a metal set on? There, there's a guy right outside our walls right now, camping us, camping us. Listen, I, I'm gonna go to the roof. I'm gonna kill this guy close, jump off, and we loot. Okay? We need to kill him close. Do you see him? Yeah, I killed one at the wall. There's a- yeah, dead. L9 dead behind the him base! And the wall guy's dead! I'm gonna jump, I'm gonna jump. Care, because there, there's one AK guy unknown, still. He's, uh... No, no, there was a naked that just ran up the wall. Oh, there's an AK guy outside the fucking flank. Are you dead? Yep. Yeah. Did he get your shit? Yep. Bruh. 
can you come to hemp base? You can get a full metal kit. I'm I got a W key this guy. I don't think you can. He's dead. Nice, the one at the wall? Yep. Good shit. There's a full metal kit behind flank base somewhere. That guy. I walled. Nice, nice, nice. Just hide, just hide, just hide. Kill that guy crossing. And flank. Okay, I'm gonna do a weird long flank. I'm gonna depot and like push train tracks like up the hill. I say we push up to excavator. We can 2v1 that guy that's probably still on that hill and we can just shoot down on guys and you can run down and loot if we kill anyone. Close the door. I don't have to close. Bruh. Also, this AK I close is hazy, so I can doink this kid real fast. Dead. Nice, good shot. Watch to the left. I see him, he's close left. Hit him. We fight this guy, we fight this guy. Don't even worry about it. flank base right now, he can't push it. He's probably running far. Yeah, 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 down, down 170 south. Okay, the palm okay, tree. okay. How far? About, uh, 40 meters from me. Headshot him, push, 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 W key! Going. Headshot the guy that looted the AK. Nice, nice, nice. I'm going back over to the AK. Got this guy's AK. Another Hazzy coming from that base of theirs. Kill that guy. You can loot him. How far is he behind Big Rock? Uh, about 20 meters to your west. 30 meters. Jeez. You'll see him. He's has him. Hit that guy far. Hit him. Nice. I don't think... No need, no need to loot. That has was broke anyways. He's on top of the China wall. Hold on. There's a guy trying to flank me. Dead. Headshot done. Nice. China wall. All right, let's let's keep dead. And that's how we mop the fucking floor, Ronnie. That's how we mop the floor. You want to grab shit from flank me? I got like two AKs in there. Oh no, we should keep them. We should keep them. Okay. There's an airdrop right outside. Let's go. Where? Um, Which way? Oh, oh, landing. Like, already. Do you have extra meds? Yep. Can I get a few? Oh, well, you may need them. <laughs> you have barricades? See one full AK? I got walls. Okay, good. See, like, at the bottom of it? Yeah, uh, telephone pole. He is? Walls? Yeah, he did. Push right. Push hard right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, there's one in the train car, bro. Headshot him. Are you dead? Yeah, I'm cool. Med Headshot this guy close. Still dead. There's a guy at this wall. Last guy. Loot that body. Play safe. Play safe. Aye, He's aye. trying to peek you. He's running. Hit him. He's peeking you. Wait, no, he can't. He can't. Headshot him, headshot him, push. W key, W key. I'm going, I'm going. Hit him again. Three times. Dead. Dead. Loot up. Good shit. A scientist under you. Yeah, I see. I wonder if he got my kit. He, did, he, he never touched your kit. What are names? 
Mad and Vitaly or some other some shit. Okay, I don't know him. Kill naked running back from 60. Oh, they're pissed. I'm full inventory. Yeah. Another one? <laughs> I gotta leave my whole kit here if you can just watch. That. I got it. No, no I got it. I got it. I got it. What'd that guy say? You guys are fucking horrible fucking puppies. Did you get your AK? Yeah, I got my AK. Okay, nice. So obviously what we had just profited was pretty crazy. The fight with that initial four to five man group profited us probably four, five, maybe even six AK sets. Not to mention all of the tier two weaponry we got. And then there was the fight over the airdrop that got us two more AK sets and the airdrop. So afterwards we depoted all of the loot and then we put the finishing touches on the base. It was in its final, final form. That was followed by a successful patrol helicopter taken because we took it right outside our compound walls. People came over, but no one really tried to counter it. And then we placed a computer station and we looked through it at the cameras that were on large oil rig. And at the time there were two or three mini copters in a group that was there that had just started taking it, it seemed. We wanted to counter, but we didn't have a helicopter. So our plan was to take the railroads all the way to bandit camp with 750 scrap, buy a minicopter, and then counter large. But things did not go according to plan. We had an extremely bizarre encounter as we were running north trying to find a train to get to bandit camp. Scrappy right in front of me on the open ground. <laughs> Is it for the taking? It looks like it's for the baiting. I do not want to just, yeah, that has to be a bait. There has to be like a landmine or some shit underneath. No, nah, unless they uh, landed and went into train. Maybe. I say we scrappy to, um, bend it? to bend it and then we have two helis. This looks like someone's sitting in this one bite, this doorway, just waiting for someone. Wait, no, this is decayed. Let's watch it out. All right, maybe start taking off. Yeah, just come to me. Yep, and it oh, was a bait. Shit. Right. Let's get to the coast. Get in. I'm right behind. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get in. Go, 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 go. That motherfucker shot a rocket at me. I told you, bro. There's. Sheesh! Okay, okay, you can start going to the right. <laughs> so we ended up getting away with the Scrappy, but it was definitely a bait. They had HV rockets ready and an L9 ready. I think they thought that they would be able to see the driver's head when he got in, but maybe they couldn't because their first shot on Ronnie missed. So per our plan, we went to Bandit and I got a mini copter and then we flew home. Easy peasy, free Scrappy. Except that wasn't the last time we were going to see those guys. In fact, right when I landed, I ran outside the compound and there was already a guy pulling up. Presumably, the guy that owned the scrap helicopter that had seen the scrappy and the mini flying to our base and followed them there. Oh, he's gonna try to HV it, you think? Yeah. That's fine, I'll kill I'm running on ground. You don't have to shoot yet. He's getting close. Okay. You can shoot. That power line. Ah, uh, he's doubled. He's doubled. Underneath power lines. Dead. Nice. I was another. Okay, I have a bag and flank. I'm gonna get my kit. The other guy's gonna be running from far. He shouldn't be able to get to you. You can see him probably. Yeah, I'll see him. He's on the open. There he is. He's up top. He's hit once. I don't think he's even gonna fight. I don't think he he stands a chance. This guy has two AK sets on him, bro. And LR. I don't even think they live there, dude. I think they, they just put the Scrappy in a high traffic area. And these are kits from people that, that, that they've killed. Kind of makes sense, you know? Nope. Scientist. It's not a scientist. Turrets don't shoot scientists. That was, a, that was our turret. But where could it have seen somebody? In our compound? I hear feet close. He's dead. He was in our compound. What? 
Viteo, MP5 kit, full metal. How did he get in our compound? What? But we didn't hear spikes. Maybe he was in here. No, because I just killed him. Maybe he got dropped off on a heli? No, bro, we didn't hear a heli. There's, there's no way. How did he do that? Guy, lighthouse, just cover me. I'm gonna try to jump through this hole in the wall. It doesn't, like, there's no way you can get through that, right? You wanna try? I don't think so. This is no zip line over our base. You can jump over our gates if you have a boost. That's the only thing I could think of. Where? Oh, right here. Yeah, that's 100% what he did. Yeah, this was open. Or a horse. A ho or <laughs> it's probably yeah yeah. Can I shot him up there. His teammate's close outside. This is so free. We can just kill these guys and you can push. Like if that guy over peeks up top. Hey, there's no lock on our gate. He just C4'd it. Wow. Dead? Yeah, it's gonna break. It's fine. <laughs> I'll put a lock on that shit, bro. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. He brought, he brought two more C4 and three real rockets. No way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is this guy? I'm dead in compound. <laughs> I died to fire. I don't know, but that's funny as f So we eventually logic the situation out to be, these guys knew that we didn't know that we hadn't put a lock on our own gate, so they came over with a bit of boom, maybe they thought we were gonna leave all of our doors open, and so they were coming to try to raid? Of course to blow up the scrappy originally, but we were still kind of confused. This was a bizarre amount of explosives to bring for the reason that they did. And it wasn't like a YOLO, let me just bring explosives for the hell of it, because they were really mad afterwards. You guys are fucking terrible. Oh, thank you for the explosives, man. Bro, your blaze are in flame, bro. What the f are you talking about? Okay, my base is in flame, but I have your rockets in C4. This guy was coming to, like, actually raid our base, bro. Nice. Your base is on flames. <laughs> like, bro, we have two C4, three rockets. Wait, was this a, like two Ensign rockets? Like, come on. <laughs> Anyways, they stuck around for a while, but eventually gave up because we weren't leaving the base. Now, we didn't have a scrap anymore, but we had a minicopter, and very soon, cargo ship spawned in. But it spawned right beside us, so we decided to leave the minicopter and go to cargo on boat so that we could have the minicopter if we needed to come back if we died. I could get us there in this hot air balloon if it's not zero HP. Yeah, yeah, come to me. I'll repair this and we go. You have L9? Yep. Are there scientists, though? Yep, yep. Yeah? Can you start doinking the top one? Or actually, we're gonna go middle. Get ready to jump. Shit. You ready? You ready? Three, yep. two, one. I'm going under. Oh my god, that landed! God uh, damn, yo. Not gonna lie, that was impressive. <laughs> we getting out on this baby, too. <laughs> Alright, we need to clear. Here, you wanna just stay top? I'm gonna clear all the scientists. You just literally stay top front and watch for helis and shit. Oh. Boat? Yep. Direction. Uh, north. How far? Full metal. Hit him. This is free. This is free. Hit him. Hit him. Down. You want to go rib? Or you want me to go rib? I'm going on rib. Go rib. Go rib. 
I gotta be the worst cargoer ever. What's that? It's just so hard. You just whiff the ladder? <laughs> yeah. Mini landing front! Already landed, two full medals out. Come in. Come on. See him? They know you're there, they know you're there. They're both front right now. They may dip Wait. under. Shit. Catch out one. Full metal. Getting up top. This is bad. There may be two more of these guys coming. I think they're under. One's under. Yep, there's their other one. All four here. F me. Get one. Headshot one. Is that you jumping? Nope. Okay. They're gonna come in a sec. Scrappy coming. Bruh. He's in heavy metal, this mother- If this- if these are same guys, this is some dumb shit, bro. Headshot one? Got like the whole gang in this spot, yeah, bro. Yeah, they're six. They're all same team. I'm headshot. They may rush. They may not be same team as those other guys. They're not. Double AKs are shooting. Headshot one. Or they're baiting. Hit another. Don't think they're same team. Good. This, this, I'm good, I'm good. This, yeah, yeah, they're not same team. Should we push, bro, together? Or do you want to stay? And just let them duke the, it out. The bottom. They're two full dead. One jump down. Yeah, there's still a couple underneath. Yeah, you're right. Still bolt. Yeah, this is still me. <sighs> Unluckily, the four-man won, and it looks like they did it with zero casualties. That one. They're taking off on mini. Ah. Uh. Maybe getting pushed. No, that guy's just leaving. Okay, so that guy's gonna come back, so temporarily it's only three. I'm hit again. Who's shooting back there? I don't know. Is there AK in water? There is, bro! Yeah. Missed Headshot him? Headshot him water? I'm watching the push. Hit him again, water, down. They're taking off the oh, front. He's taking off front. He's going to pick up his teammate in the water. What the fuck is happening? The answer is we had no idea why these two guys were in the water didn't make sense. And then this other guy left on a minicopter, meaning temporarily there was one guy left. So the plan from there was simple. I was just going to keep shooting with him, trying not to die, of course. And Ronnie was going to sneak all the way underneath the ship and ambush him. And if we were fast and we looted all of the crates and the bodies before the rest of his group got back, then the cargo loot was ours. I'm just distracting the shots. He killed him. Nice, nice, nice. Loot is shit and you can crouch back. I'm watching. Him. He has a row of AKs, bro. Really? Mini, mini, mini. You can spray. You can spray. Where? To the shore side, shore side, low, low, low. The Scrappy's up there? Scrappy's up here, yeah. Like, I could come and loot that, come to you, and we just leave in the in the Scrappy. It's a big win if you have multiple AKs. Holy shit, it's loaded, dude. Okay. You have meds? Yeah, there's a, yeah hella. Hella, like a row of ammo and shit. Bro, what the... <laughs> this is where things make it feisty, Ronnie. Wait, bro, when that mini crashed and came back and went in the water, 
I think he just yeah. overshot it, and they both fell in the water, and so they hopped yeah, up on a junk so. pile. And then by the time they were all the way behind us, they started shooting at us. That's exactly what happened. <laughs> Those guys are bricks, man. <sighs> Bro, Ronald. We're in. That's all that matters. So this cargo take was unbelievable. It was so bizarre because a four-man came to counter with double minicopter, and at the time, I don't know why they didn't just push me sitting up there on the bridge because I don't think they had seen Ronnie at that point. They may have thought it was just solo, but they decided to stay at the front, and then the scrappy came to counter. It was just a whole situation, but when all was said and done, we had all of the loot over a row of AKs, explosives, the crate loot, Everything from cargo was ours. So with those extra explosives and all of the sulfur that we still had and had been smelting throughout the day, it was time to start working towards the end goal of finding a base to raid. The four to five men we couldn't because there were four to five of them and they actually had a really, really strong base. So Ronnie and I started running around the area and that's when we heard that Excavator was being run. And so we went over to counter it. It had just started so there wasn't much loot, but we were able to kill some guys, get a bunch of diesel and kits as well. But that's when we thought back to earlier in the day. The group that started everything for us were the two guys that were running Excavator in the morning when not that many people were online. We figured they were probably very rich and although we didn't know where they lived exactly, we had seen them run back and forth a couple times to Excavator, and we were able to piece together that they probably lived in this base here. And so, right then and there, not knowing if they were online or offline, but just figuring they were extremely wealthy, we decided that was the base that we were going to hit. And although we did have plenty of sulfur from earlier in the day, explosives from cargo, and explosives from that weird scrap helicopter situation, we were probably going to need a decent bit more to raid this base. And so the next couple of hours turned into a grind for more explosives. We took the patrol helicopter down, but the four to five man group that lived beside us ended up getting all of the loot because it was down to closer to their base. So then we went to large oil rig, we got some more explosives and loot from there. And then we heard a raid go Going on kind of nearby and so we went over to try to counter it we waited as they brought more explosives from their base killed them finished the raid got a decent bit of sulfur but not a ton but then we cooked all of the sulfur up added it to the rest of the sulfur turned all of that into rockets and realized we had 24 rockets a stack of explosive ammo and 10 c4 which we decided was enough to raid the base it was about go time. At this point, it was 7 p.m., and not only was the server pop nearly full, but the area that this base was in was a really populated area. So the raid wasn't going to be all that easy, we expected. And that's why we wanted to make a raid base. We grabbed all the materials that we would need for that, including an auto turret, and started to run over. Alright, onward. If we'd had, like, twice as much boom as we do now, I'd be so tempted to call on some friends and raid that four to five men. But with a china wall and everything, like that's some tank YouTube design, you know? Also, I wish we knew where those guys with the scrappy lived. Oh my gosh. I would have loved to have raided them. But I have a sense that this base is gonna be juiced and I haven't had like a good raid in so long. Looking at their base, there it looks like there's no way you can put a base in between launch and excavator. But they like threaded the needle and somehow got it there. And that's probably why they don't have a compound. It's because they have, like, zero building privilege. Dude, these guys are smart. You can't build a raid base because there's no priv. Like... Oh, I have a little bit right here, actually. How do we want to raid this? Split first and second, or the stone? This is the front door, right? Okay, you got the beds, let me see. Betterino should be down here. Okay, nice. Jenny and turret and all that. <coughs> No embracers. I actually know I didn't bring them. I didn't think I was gonna do a base like this. Get off. Yeah. 
see the guys that live. Press? They're coming, they're coming, oh. they're coming from 20. You get back? Get back. Good for now. They're actually coming at us. What? Yeah. I'm dead in the airlock w with actually all of our boom. Can you please close it? Like, can you just run and close that outer door? Did you close it? Yep. Woo. Okay, you can leave that body for now, I think. I just loaded the rockets. I think they're coming up. I saw like three or four of them. I think they were just passing by. Who was it? Guy named Blue? <laughs> oh, he does have a launcher and they're running towards our base. Can I just push out the compound and kill these guys? We have mini walls somewhere. Oh, I took him. Should have done what is that? Here is an answer from an Alexa answer Dude, Alexa's f***ing talking to me. For information technology. Alexa, shut up. Please. Please shut up. <laughs> Jesus. Where are these guys, you said? Just train or tracks? Trains. So they're, okay. they're, they're like two of them. Yeah. Oh, more. Headshot one? Oh, No one? Hit him. I'm dead, Hedge. They're booming. That time. I spawned in flank base. I'm dead. I'm dead. They have like multiple L9s on that hill. Should I spawn in flank or should I spawn Flank, in flank. Definitely flank. Flank. Yeah, I have to spawn flank too. Dude, I, I can't go to shooting floor. They have a perfect view into our shooting floor. Oh, flank is on timer too. They're within. I have no outside bags. Oh no. We have to play this so carefully. I only have 22 shots. I have, I have 90 seconds. This is all really bad. This is bad. Where are they at right now? Uh, at the ridge. I'm gonna see if I can kill some right now. I looted your kit in the airlock. Okay. Alright, I'm taking rockets now. I don't think we win if I don't. Do you know how far they are into our walls now? Pretty deep. Dead. <clears throat> I shouldn't be on timer though. Tip top towers cracked. I'm double headshot by fucking bulky. L9. Yeah, there's literally no clue for this. Killed launcher. Back. They're talking in game, bro. There are like 80 of them. There's a lot, bro. Full killed one. I have walls in here I can seal. If 
when's your spawn? I'm running. Get quads out. This isn't you in our base. Uh uh. One died shotgun trap. They broke our close turret here. They almost rocketed me. I'm gonna rocket them back in a sec. We're gonna break this. I killed a, like, probably like two with that rocket. Grab an AK kit. Here, I'm, I'm gonna kill a bunch in a second here in compound. Give me a second. Might drop down. Killed three? Wait, there's one more in there. I killed two, killed two. There's one more in there. In our custom gate. You good? Ronnie. High walls, and I can wall. Is that high walls? It's in this gate. If this guy peeks the gate, I'm gonna rocket him. Is this you? Okay, that's you in there. There's a guy in our compound. Can rock it. Killed him. Three times. He's dead. There are three dead bodies in there. A ton of their boom. I'm dead. I'm dead. They have like our whole base, but we have a turret guarding them. Might not have boom to break that turret. Yeah. They're trying to bait it. I'm gonna go spawn outside bank. Okay. Yeah, if you can get to that gate, there's so much there. Can outside like Wookies, man. You have an inside bag? You can pick me if you spawn yeah. inside bed, bed right now. Third story and pick me up. You have a turret under here, right? Yeah, yeah. That's what's holding them back. But I have to keep the garage door closed that's covering the turret. Otherwise, they'd be, like, in our bedroom. So, it's a sticky situation. We, we have one... No, they C4 the turret on the backside. We have no compound turrets. They're below, they just blew this turret. They're laddering up to shooting floor. Hold on, this turret may kill them. I think one died to shotgun trap. Oh no! Oh, oh. no, dude. Nice. Oh. <laughs> they right there. They're about to break our break our TC. No, they're about to break our TC. Down in the compound. What do you say? Down in the compound. You're down in the compound? I'm not down, but I'm in the compound. Me too. Can we get to this gate? I have walls to seal. It's me! Oh, that's not you! There's yeah, one in our me. compound. There's one in our compound. I think he's la last guy alive. 
Okay. We're in our beds. Might have died. He is in our beds. I. No, the garage doors are open. He may be. No, he's draining the shotgun traps right now. I spawn outside bag. I'm running from far. I tried to wall. There was one in the base, and I tried. Yeah, to wall. so did I, and it, it wouldn't let me. Wall. It wouldn't let me. There's an AK kit in here. I'm gonna bandage and peek from here, from flank. There's a guy right by flank base. I know, I know. Got me, bro. Killed one. What's your main base timer? Your I'm, I'm top in, bag? I'm in. Okay. I'm, in. I'm distracting here, hella. There th there are three of them fully kitted here at this base. I'm dead. Nice, nice. The one's running back into the compound now. He's looting bodies. There's one in. He's got a launcher here. Naked's running to yeah, to his body. Your base, dog. You, if you make a play, you got to do it now. There's one. This guy's about to raid this. Yeah, he's C4ing it. Can you can you get a kit and peek from roof on this guy? Yeah, one second. Turrets are back on. Okay. Like like you see this guy here? Dead. Nice. One dead. Okay. You can seal the compound, I think, bro. There's so many people. Here, okay, bro. okay. There, I mean, there are three here on me. I hear like three over here. This guy's coming to loot his body. Dead in our base. Nice. Bruh. This guy's raiding this. Killed one here. Can't do shit. And they're bolting back up on me. I'm rocketed! No! Oh, I could have killed him. Killed one on our base. Nice, nice. I'm running. I have Tommy up here. Nice, Dead. nice, nice. You can pick me, you can pick me. I'm gonna drop down on this guy. You can close this door to to our main loot room. Nice. You can pick me down here. Trying to pick. Oh shit! I didn't know about that. We have nowhere to go. Does this guy have meds? Oh, he does. Nice. <clears throat> wait, wait. Yeah, you can open it whenever. One dead. Nice. Close the door. You can drop down and pick me. I'm compound. I think everyone in our base is dead. I might spawn back in tower. Yeah, do that. Do that. Get better gun. Kill naked up there. I need wood. Wait, hold up. I'm going to second base. There was wood in here. This guy has hella- Dude, there's so much Rain shit. Guard. Hit him once. You can probably see him if you swing left. He's behind the right wheel. Dead, dead, dead. Nice. God damn, I got a lot of this. This guy has all our AKs. Yeah, bro, they're like- There's all the loot is here. We just have zero wood to seal. I have wood, I have wood, I have wood.
think once they started dropping, started dropping, they kind of just didn't have bags or something. They didn't. There were like a couple running back naked, but like there's all the loot here. Except the rock. Oh, you're right. They were up here. They got. Oh, they got all the boom. Oh, that's really annoying. So a recap is kind of necessary here. The resources, the guns, the ammo, everything. We had gotten it back from the bodies that we had been killing at the end of the raid. But there was one thing that we didn't have, and that was all of our explosives. Our day's goal was now impossible. But let's go back to the beginning of the raid. When it all started going down, Ronnie said they are coming. coming. This was coming, a group that we knew about. Everyone did. They were typing in chat all afternoon. People were typing about them in chat all afternoon. They were running around the desert finding bases to raid and raiding them. We didn't expect them to raid us, but they did. <laughs> the worst possible time, too. Honestly, if we'd left 10 seconds earlier and they'd killed me out in the open and got all the explosives, well, it all would have been over right then and there. At least we got to defend our base, and we put up a good fight. But there were a few key things that were missing in our raid defense. Worst of all, our beds. It was an oversight on our part, but we had never checked. Our flank base was within the bed range of the beds in our main base. So when we respawned in our main base, it put our flank base bed on timer. That was a big deal. The flank base had huge potential during the defense, but we can never justify spawning there because then it would put our main base beds on timer. And on top of that, it seemed like all of my outside bags had decayed. So respawning was a huge, huge issue. And lastly, we couldn't use our shooting floor. Or at least we hardly could, only the backside. Because they had two or three L96s posted up on the hill at Excavator looking into our shooting floor. Every single time I stepped around to the side of the shooting floor or the front of it, I was dead. We don't really know how many of them there were, but our best guess is it was probably five to eight guys total. And while the online raid was very respectable, that didn't change the fact that our explosives had been stolen. It was a heist. Because there was only a tiny amount of time during the raid that they were actually on our third floor. It was just one guy and it was right here. When both of these garage doors were open because I had recently spawned, he was up there, he drained the shotgun traps, grabbed the explosives, and left. I knew that that third floor loot room was the safest spot in the entire base. The first and second story were compromised almost instantly. But as you know, that third floor loot room, our bedroom, lasted the entire defense. But during the tiny, tiny amount of time that it was accessible, the best loot from it was taken. And Ronnie was right. After we started killing them, they weren't coming back that fast. Our best guess is that they lived pretty far away, and they probably only placed one bag for the raid, if that. You probably noticed in the chaos of the aftermath of the raid, we were able to pick a few guys off here and there, and here and there, kill nakeds that were looting, and most of our good loot we were able to secure and get back into our base that we sealed. Again, everything but the explosives. So, now what? We had a raid base down, we had a target, we just didn't have any explosives, we had no sulfur. Well, at this point, it was nearing 9. And instead of deciding to farm for a while to do some sort of raid, we decided to get off. But I at least wanted to seal our bases up before we did. I patched our main base, and then started to run over to the flank base to seal that. That's probably our boom over there, dude. Yeah. We should go hunt that down. Yeah. I don't think it's the base we were gonna raid, but it's close. Yeah. Final hurrah, we pray for a miracle here. <clears throat> I think it's a compound right there. You got walls? Yeah, three. We should go from the left, though. There's no way they have enough for that. I mean, they may have had way extra after us. I'm going to put my bag past have. this train track. I'm taking off silencer for now. It went in through this. 
like our side right over here. I think. They may not have enough, bro. They may be dying to turrets right now. All right, full crouch. Wonderful day. Could be shooting floors, okay. Sounds like they are. I'm watching floor. Might be an online, I don't know. There's no way. It's big. See if that guy had boom. Oh, it's everything. It's all of our boom, all of it. Can you, co can you cover? I'm looting. Here, I'm watching the breach. Head out. Yeah. Backing up slowly once you get to a spot where you're comfortable. I'm running. Like, this is all our boom. Bro, you want to run over to our little f***ing thing and just raid the base we were going to raid? Just say a big f*** you to them? Yeah. You can also loot the rest of his body. He has loads of shit, if you want. <clears throat> Let me get to a good spot on this hill to cover you. I'm watching the hole in the wall. I only hear one. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, bro. And so many turrets were going off for, like, a second there. Mini, mini. Where? To our base direction. They know where we live. You gotta come with me. You gotta come with me. I wanna bring all that shit to the... Yeah, to the raid base? Yeah, for sure. I think we have shit to make a couple boxes in there. We can drop off all the good shit. Just take regular metal kits out. But we Push don't back. have embrasures. Put, it's fine. We can make wooden ones. Push back to our base. All we need is a little bit of low grade and some metal embrasures from our base. We can come back and do the raid pretty safe, you know? Be careful up there. Be careful up there. They landed on the hill beside you to the left to, like, cut us off. So they may be, if they saw the direction we ran, they may be peeking down on you. <laughs> Heli, just be, just be quiet as it passes over. Don't peek. Don't, don't peek. Don't peek it. Don't peek it, bro. Don't peek it. They're searching. Oh my god, they are, bro. And if they find this before we can get metal embrasures and shit to start this up, they're, I mean, they're gonna insta-rate it. We gotta be very careful. This is what I got off the guy. I mean, it was something out of a movie. We were being hunted. They probably had a couple guys at our base. They had guys on minicopters. So, we waited. Five, ten minutes or so. When we thought the coast was clear, we ran back over to our main base. And by then, none of them were still there. So we grabbed a tier 2 workbench so we could make metal window embrasures and meds for the raid. We got low grade as well. And then we ran back over to the raid base to begin our raid. Bro, I'm already imagining this. If this is a video, it's like... After our base gets raided and we have no boom, and I'm like, oh, but we don't have the rockets, do we? It's like sad music, cinematic, everything's over, GG. And then we hear the boom in the distance, and I'll really, like, uh, you know, hype that up, and I'll be like, oh, they're raiding! And then we go, dun dun dun, -dun <laughs> get the boom, <laughs> run, heli flying over, patrolling. Heli flying over. We're hiding, bro, we're like, don't fucking be running! <laughs> You hide, they don't see us, yeah, we go back to our base. Dude, this, this could be really f***ing cheeky, we just gotta execute right now. That's the name of the game, execute. Alright, let's go. So, a 4 rocket, or no, a 4 do, No, where do we want- no, 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 we should do rockets for this 8. <clears throat> where do we want to split, though? Where can our turrets see best? I can see here. I'd say right here in that crease. That sound good? You have 4 rockets on you? Yep. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Bruh. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Here we go. A rocket that. I'm gonna. Do we wanna. Oh, we wanna a rocket it? Okay, yeah. That's a good idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, you're right, you're right, you're right. Because we can split second floor, too. Oh, you're good. 
Wait, the, the, was this not TC? Oh wait, have they already been raided? No? I think they just moved their loot up, but where's their TC? You got another ladder? Yeah, uh, no, you- <coughs> Oh yeah, I do, I do. Wait, don't, don't use it yet, we may need to blow. What's this wall at? Oh shit. Alright, so all their loot's high up. Yeah, it's a probably open core concept. Do you wanna... Yeah, I mean, like, this is like AKs and shit. Yeah. Wait, hold on, we can look through here, bro. Place a floor right here. And we can see in if we destroy this box. That's a l bro, I'm getting like L9s and AKs and shit. Like, see boxes over there. These aren't locked, so those probably won't be. This is armored. Main loot down below. What? In the middle of the second floor? Yep, yep. Right this this next one. We should have three more rockets left, right? Five yeah. C4. Stack Explo. I'm gonna grab some Explo. I got some. Okay. Bunch of semis in here and shit. Can you break the rest of that top one? Oh, it's broken. Nice. Okay. Dude, these guys are juiced. What the f- What the f- What the f- This is crazy. So what is- So if this is a jump up, then what's in here? Or what's in here? Wait, this is- Wait, this is stone facing this way. This is a loot room. Hard, uh, yeah. 2C4. Yeah, yeah. You wanna do that? Shotgun trap and a jump up? What the what? F Four left? I only have two rockets, but I have a bunch of explo. Okay. TC's gotta be behind one of these doors. There's TC behind two armored window walls. That's only eight rockets worth, though. <clears throat> like, 2C4 gets through one of those. So I have 100 X blow. I, I need 100 more X blow, or 1C4, or two rockets, and I can get through that second thing, and we can fully seal this. I thought we were down and out. I thought we couldn't, couldn't do our raid. We thought all of the sulfur that we had yapped from those guys had been for nothing. I'm booming. <laughs> like a row of high goal. God damn. What? Look at these boxes. Sheesh. No farm. Sheesh. <laughs> Bottom left is juicer. Alright, I say we pull the best shit. All the AKs, stacks of high qual, LRs, L9s, shit like yeah. that, and we'll put it in the base just so we can get like a total summary of shit we've gotten. You wanna bring it to our base? No, no, no. Just to here. So that's what we did. We went back and forth and back and forth, siphoning all of the good loot out of the base that we had just raided. It was a jackpot. Here is the final amount. Probably close to two boxes of AKs and two boxes of metal gear. There was so much high quill, so many metal frags, so many med materials, and so many tier two guns and hazmats that we probably didn't take half of them back to the raid base. The name of this story, the double heist, now probably makes a lot of sense to you. That tiny window during the raid defense where those two garage doors to the third story loot room were open 
allowed Lando to take all of our explosives and get away with them. It was a heist, but shortly after, right before we were about to give up on the entire adventure, we heard them raiding another base nearby, and so we ran over, and by the time we got there, most of them seemed to be dead, and Lando was running out for some reason, whether it was to give a gear set to his teammate or to go find another base to raid because they decided that one was too difficult. Whatever the situation was, we caught Lando, we got all of our explosives back, and we sneakily made our way to the raid base that we had made an hour or two earlier. It was another heist, the second one hence the name of this video, and it was arguably a bigger heist because this was the final blow either of our two groups would give to one another. We never saw Lando's group again. After a buffer of time of hiding in the raid base, we successfully raided the base we had been planning on raiding all day long. The cherry on top? It was loaded. It was a jackpot, and we had the perfect amount of explosives to raid it. Needless to say, at this point, all was said and done. Satisfaction had been achieved, and then some. So, Ronnie and I decided to disconnect from the server for the final time. But before we did it, because we had just so much loot, we decided to intentionally remove all of the resources from both the raid base tool cupboard and our main base tool cupboard, in the hopes that at some point over the next day as our bases started to decay, someone would find all of our loot, and that would fuel an adventure of their own. The funny thing is, the person that found our base and all of the loot inside is probably watching this video. Which is cool to know because now they have the backstory. Now they have the context for all of the riches. Anyways, it's time for this video to come to a close. I sincerely hope you all enjoyed it. My name is Stevie. Thank you so much for watching.